and welcome back to another video. Today I will be doing a review of if I <laughs> click the right, if I click the correct window, I would tell the Golem Pet add-on. I saw this and I was interested in uh Yeah. You know, because you golem you know, iron golems and snow golems are cool. And it would be cool to have more golems that aren't useless, like the copper golem and the tough golem. We who were both Basically useless, let's admit it. Alright, the tough golem was basically a moving armor stand. Well, not even as good as that, like a moving item frame. And the copper golem was basically just a chicken and a pressure plate. Right, you could effectively do the same thing with a chicken and a pressure plate, just green. Oh, it's one of these books. Okay. How to build golem pets. Craft a golem head, which is a free never quartz plus a glue stone block. I'll just craft one of these and then I'll uh, give myself a bunch. Uh, and then never quartz. Put one in here. Yes, it is. So I don't need that to me. Or that. And then you craft a golden head. So let me just give a key golden. Excuse me. Right here. Place a. Uh, Golden pets have awakened. Oh, ah! Place golden heads on these blocks. Golden pets have awakened. So, that's a mob spawner chest and glass block. Mob spawner chest and glass block. Oh. So, I've got a glass block in here. Uh, do, I'll just get eight planks. And that's a chest. I think I have a mob spawner in one of these chests. Yes, I do. So let's go up and take a look at these, shall we? So we have a glass, a glass sheep. <laughs> oh, it's got the uh, golden heads. Can I shear it? Hold on. Give that the sheep. Oh yeah, I can. I got white stained glass. Can I die you? Give that the die. Played the wrong noise, but it worked. And I need to wait for you. Oh, there we go. Now it's a cyan glass sheep. So yeah, renewable. So a renewable source of uh, glass. Which is pretty good, seeing as how there's no renewable source of sand. Um, anyway, there's also the chest, which is now a chest fox. It has an inventory. It's a small inventory, but it's an inventory. It's not moving around. I... what am I? I'm not just pushing around, I'm a chest. Anyway, and then there's a mob spawner, which is buggy. Do I have to be in game mode one? Nope. Huh. New key. Uh, 
and place it on top, and then you have a mob spawner chicken golem. What do you do, little guy? You just like who power to drops from random mobs that you can get in the spawners? What do you do? Yeah, I don't know why I can't place that one down. Uh, can be tempted to obtain fed lead and bread with the same items. One exception, the golem fox can't be fed or bread. So... I guess if I get some seeds... Yeah. Yeah, so it's just like the same as uh, regular, the regular form. Uh, Golden Fox sucks in items, holds items, drops them in hoppers. Oh, that's cool. If I drop them, it's not doing anything. Oh, there you go. It has to be right on top of them. So it doesn't go after them like in the lay by the looks way, that's odd. Yeah, that's now in his inventory, so he should just go drop them on the hopper while there's no hopper spoon to drop them on. Uh huh. Oh wait, hold the sneak while placing the uh, golden head on the chest. Ah. I thought I was going to say something. Uh, golden sheep, the grass, diamond, so yeah, you can get different ones. Like glass, terracotta, concrete, concrete powder, gold quartz. So yeah, this is like a way to make everything uh, really doable. So if I give that P diamond or or and place that down and place that there. Yeah, diamond or sheep. If I shear you, I get diamonds! Okay, so yeah, that's just a way to get everything like diamonds, emeralds and all that. If you get silk touch. Or if you just like, find the naturally spawn in the world, put it on and then, uh, just... Yeah, yeah, and you can dye the glass sheep, the concrete and concrete powder sheep and the terracotta sheep. Golden trip chicken. Drop per redstone block items nearby and it will drop spawn eggs like a B. Oh, so if I get some. Where is it? There it is. If I give that to be redstone block of. Red. There you go. Did I misspell it here? Yeah. Maybe I accidentally put two D's. Didn't notice. If I'm back here, you. So I draw that. Oh, yeah! If I do Control Q. Oh, yeah! Oh, my inventory's full. So we got a whole bunch, we've got rabbits, got horse, got uh, piglin, got sniffer, got uh, bee, got a glow squid. Oh, it's a baby glow squid. Is this river's. Oh, no! Uh, the. Okay, he's gone! Oh, I just nearly had a heart attack there. Do not spawn with her. Oh, I got the uh, armadillo, got the elder guardian. I'll stab you up real good. 
Ja, die lege ich mir lieber. Ja, River Skeleton. And now I'm taking damage. Uh, got Ravager. Oh my god, so many saddles. I didn't know it was possible for him to drop more than one saddle. Oh wait, that's Rivet. What else we got? We got Mule. We got a Shulker. Yeah, two two shells is hard enough for them. Got a polar bear. Got fox. Got horse. Got two trade wandering trader llamas. A zombie horse. A panda. Another panda. Oh, zombie villager. If I stabbed you. A magma cube. Oh, he's on the ground now. Frog. Phantom. Don't know why, you, why you're doing one then. Got a couple of cats. Got a mushroom. Got a spider. Got a rabbit. Got three camels. Good way to get camels. Donkey. Got three zombies. What else we got in here? Two... Warden! Okay, I'm not spawning in, but yeah, you, you know where Warden is. Got an ocelot, got a sheep. Got two endermans. So it doesn't seem that they can give you spawn eggs for like uh, add-on mobs. It's uh, probably just like a limited bit. Oh, two villagers. A chicken. So I'm going to spawn the gas because it's going to blow stuff up. Got three parrots. Ender dragon! Okay, not spawning the ender. Definitely not spawning the ender dragon. Three cows. Pillager. Four cod. Two axolotls. Two cave spiders. And a squid. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You get some really weird stuff like rivers, and the dragons, uh, wardens, sniffers, and villagers. I would say that I would not. I would say this would be good for super flat worlds to get stuff you can only get like camels. But the problem is there is that you need never quartz and glowstone blocks, which glowstone not too difficult. Kill a bunch of witches, you you know, you make some glowstone blocks easily. Never quartz, not so much because there's no way to get them in the overworld. There go on here, go on here to make book. Well, unless you can get, uh, hold on, I want to check something. Can you get, I don't think you can get, but I think you can trade Never Quartz with the Stone Cutter Villagers, the Masons, I think they're called. But I think that's you trading Never Quartz for Emeralds and not them trading Emeralds for Never Quartz. I'll ha check real quick. Because if I'm wrong, then this would actually be pretty good for super to get uh, mobs you can normally get. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, here it is. Uh. Yeah, no, you can get quartz blocks from them. You can get another quartz itself, and I don't think there's any villager. 
That does give you never quartz. So, yeah. Yeah, this is pretty cool. You can get some, uh, the, they are quite useful and you can get some cool stuff from them. What I would change again is this crafting recipe, like maybe make it, I don't know, a carved pumpkin surrounded by iron maybe? Instead of that. Make it a little bit easier to get in super flat. Obviously, you wouldn't be able to get. Well, you'd be able to get the. Con, well, you wouldn't be able to get concrete powder and concrete sheep in Superfly. You wouldn't be able to get terracotta in Superfly. You'd be able to get glass. You can get sand from the from one doing trader, one DT. Um, I think the fox might be uh, the chest fox might be more useful than I'm giving it credit for though because. I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head how useful it uh, would be in Redstone, but I'm pretty sure if somebody wanted to, they could make it pretty useful. Like, I don't know. I was trying to think how, well, you could probably use it instead of like, mm, I don't know. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but there's probably people smarter than me that can figure out a way to use it. Uh -huh. Um, but yeah, I really like the chicken now, the uh, spawner chicken, that's cool. Yeah, smaller uh, add-on, yeah, I'm not going to show off every ore sheep and colour of, um, of like concrete powder, concrete and terracotta and glass sheep. Because, you know, just be the same but different colour, so yeah, pretty cool. Uh, it's, if I remember correctly, it was like four pounds? Yeah, this was four pounds because, uh, yeah, I bought, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I got two add-ons. This one and one of the other ones was four pounds and then one of them was three pounds, I think it was or something, yeah. Um, so it's a little bit more expensive for how small, how little it does add, but it does add some cool things. So I could see why you would uh, uh, like to have it on. Um, so yeah, there are some cool things about it, and it's, it, again, it is useful getting like unlimited supplies of all these. Like legitimately, you could just use a um, they, they're, oh, do they still eat grass? It doesn't say. Well, you could probably legitimately just like set up. So over here, I have um, this setup for wool. It's just like two sheep in a pen with a grass block and a, uh, a dispenser with shears and a observer observing the grass block. You could probably just like take this and adapt it to um, the. Other sheep, I, that's if they do eat the grass, but I can't remember. I can't, I saw one of them regrow their wool at well, the glass, sign glass, and I can't remember if he did eat the grass or if he didn't, and it's not saying in here. So. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. And uh, the, you know, if you want, so yeah, uh, if you want a quick, concise, you know, well, not my opinion. This, yeah, pretty cool. But uh, I could, I can see why some people might want it. I can see why some people might not want it. If you uh, like what, like what you've seen here, then uh, pick it up. Uh, no, again, it is uh, five pounds, so it's a bit more expensive. Yeah, it could do with like lowering the price and changing the recipe, but that's my only real complaints. I'll see you guys in the next one, and bye bye.